Hello, and welcome back to part four of the Dance of Pluto and Sedna. This is High Vibe Astrology with Jennifer. Before we begin, I wanted to make a correction because in the earlier videos, I think it's part one and part two, maybe in all three of them, I misspoke about the duration of the trine between Pluto and Sedna. It actually is going to last four years with that trine becoming wider and weaker in the early part of 2028. So since I have done three videos, I am going to make this fourth one a short one. I do include the house themes for each one of your signs for both Pluto and Sedna. So I encourage you to read over those with the understanding that, of course, this is general. It's not going to take into account your birth time and your age or anything like that. Some of you were born with Sedna conjunct a personal planet. Some of you were born with Pluto conjunct a personal planet or conjunct an angle. And none of these things can possibly be addressed in these short videos. So this is just the general theme for each sign and the house that will be affected when Pluto moves into Aquarius and Sedna moves into Gemini. As I record this, both of these planets are still in the Earth signs, and as it happens, they are in an exact trine. As I record this, Pluto's in Capricorn at 29 degrees 34 minutes, and Sedna is in Taurus at 29 degrees 34 minutes. So as we evolve with these energies over the next four years, I encourage you to revisit these themes to write and rewrite your own affirmations so that you can support your own evolution as we all come into greater alignment with our higher destiny and purpose. That is all I have for you. I do hope you enjoy these frequencies and the house themes, and I look forward to being with you soon for the Capricorn New Moon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.